Did you know? The entire premise of Steinsgate is based on an internet urban legend from the early 2000s. In 2000, though not initially starting under the now famous name, an internet forum goer by the name John Titer started to make a name for himself by saying that he was a time traveler from the future. Titer claimed that he was an American soldier from the year 2036, a semi-dystopian future where World War III had erupted, that the United States had been sectioned into five pieces, and that time travel was more than a possibility, but happening all the time. The one thing, however, that cemented Titer's legacy, and was the proof to many that he was more than just a crazy internet persona, was his mission to recover an IBM 5100 computer from 1975. Revealed by Titer was the 5100's ability to debug and emulate mainframe systems portably, which had not been publicly revealed by IBM at the time, and was, in fact, guarded and suppressed by IBM due to the possibility of drastically hurting their business. Bob Dubkey, the second engineer on the 5100 project team, confirmed Titer's claim. In Steinsgate, it is revealed that Amine Suzuha is the very same legendary time traveler from 2036, who was sent back to the past to the very same year, 1975, to get an IBN 5100 and try and stop CERN from achieving time travel. IBN being an obvious change from IBM and CERN changing the first letter to differentiate it from the actual CERN, who the real Titer claimed were the creators of the technology used to travel back in time. The connections go further. Amine claims she is in the year 2010, at the time of the present, on a personal mission to meet her father before traveling back. The actual John Titer claimed that his trip to 2000, the field beta in Steinsgate, was also a personal trip to recover lost family possessions. Though not all of the details between Steinsgate and the Titer legend are interchangeable, he even left us a comment on that too. For starters, the fact that I'm here makes it different. I would guess the temporal divergence between this world line and my original is about 1 or 2 percent. Of course, the longer I am here, the larger that divergence becomes from my point of view. Steinsgate is filled with references and callbacks to other anime and media, some of which most notably come from its predecessor, Chaos Head. Chaos Head, much like Steinsgate, started off as a visual novel due to the collective effort of companies 5PB and Nitro Plus, thus they are set in the same universe. In episode 2, Time Travel Paranoia, during his conversation with Okabe, Hashida mentions a person who is famously nicknamed Lightning Fast Nightheart. This is a reference to the character Takumi Nishijo from Chaos Head. Takumi is famously known as Lightning Fast Nightheart in the MMORPG he plays in Chaos Head. In episode 10, Chaos Theory Homeostasis 3, Hashida talks about the in-universe anime named Blood Toon. The fictional anime Blood Toon is another reoccurring element from Chaos Head. General time travel mentions can also be heard in episode 6, as the group is deciding on the name of the past male. Hashida votes for the male that leapt through time, which is a reference to the 2006 anime title The Girl Who Leapt Through Time. Mayuri votes for Back to the Mail, which is a reference to the Back to the Future trilogy, and afterwards, DeLorean Mail, as a reference to the character Doc Brown's car from said films. A very famous video game quote comes from Okabe in episode 12, where he says, That cake is a lie, referencing the game Portal by Valve Software. Interestingly enough, relating back to Valve is Mayuri's English voice actress, Jackie Ross, who is actually better known as writer and actress Ashley Birch. When the Steinsgate OVA needed to be dubbed, Birch had been contracted to write for Valve around the same time, and therefore was not in Texas, so she reprised her role by recording the entire episode in Seattle. For the release of Steinsgate, a number of cool easter eggs were made to enhance the experience for fans. If an email was sent to the address sg-epk at jtk93.x29.jp, you would receive a fake error message telling you that the address does not exist on the current world line. The message is also followed by a string of hex code, the same code that was originally sent to Okabe, insinuating that the message was sent by future Okabe. The Future Gadget Lab website, which Okabe would access through his phone, had its own English page made for the official release. Its incomprehensible English is deliberately referencing Ashida and Okabe's bad English. And finally, a promotional model of the crash satellite appeared on the real-life Radio Kaiken building in Akihabara in October 2011. Thanks for watching. We're Did You Know Anime, the anime trivia resource. Make sure you follow us on Twitter and Facebook for all the latest facts and trivia.
my name is Arcada, and if you like the sound of my voice enough, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel for my bi-weekly-ish thoughts on a variety of anime, from new releases to the older classics. Thanks again for watching, and stay frosty, everyone.